Welcome back to HETV. Like always, we're going to start off with a little quiz to test your knowledge about the HE application process. Advisor, please make sure you have project, the quiz, and record your advisory answer in the Google form. Okay, let's review. Question one. The best place to start when beginning an HGE application is A. The reading short response or essay. B. The application. C. The teacher recommendation form. Or D. The transcript request. The correct answer is A. The essay takes the longest and therefore is the best place to start. Question two. I see that HGE I am applying to requires an application fee of $10 to $25. I should A. Choose a different HGE to apply to. B, wait to see if I'm accepted, then talk to my advisor about how to pay the fee. C, ignore the requirement. They probably won't care if I pay or not. D, complain to all my friends and teachers. Well, we know you probably didn't choose D, which is great because the correct answer is B. Some programs require fees. If it is a program you are interested in applying to, you should still apply. See if you are accepted, <clears throat> then talk to your advisor or Ms. McCain about working on the application fee. Last question. Question three, what is the challenge that we issued last week? A, students should apply to two or more HGEs. B, students should participate in two or more HGEs. The correct answer is, of course, B. We want to see how many students will participate in two or more HGEs this summer. Starting today, we have the opportunity to earn HGE advisory, advisory participation points during each lesson. Each Wednesday, HGE lesson, you can earn two points maximum. You earn those by being on task and focused during SGE listen time, working on SGE applications, checking in your advisor, researching SGE programs, and etc. What happens if I earn most of my SGE advisory participating points? Just like during advisory in quarter two, you'll get to pick a class to add extra credit to. What? That's awesome. So if I'm not doing great in English for quarter four, I could choose my extra credit to go to English? Yep, that's right. Wow. Well, I know I want that extra credit. So my so my advisor will enter my HGE participation point each day, right? That's right, Darren. All right, enough review. Today we will talk about the HGE agenda, an important tool you can use to organize your HGE application. This week you will each get an HGE agenda. Today we are going to give you some tips for using this agenda. Key point one, look at your application packet first. The cover page is an application worksheet with all the necessary parts of the application circle. On the back of the application cover sheet is the HGE planning process page. This page helps you backwards plan a timeline for, the, for what steps you would need to take to complete the application. Key point two, start with the end in mind. The first thing you should do is write down the due date in your HGE agenda. Once you know the due date of your program, it will be easier for you to budget time so that you can complete everything for the application. Use this calendar in your application packet to see when you need to be working on what. If your program requires you to submit your application online, or you would like help writing an essay or short answer, there will be weekly SGE work times. Media Lab work times will be on Tuesdays and Fridays after school starting on March 24th. That brings us to key point three. Give yourself enough time. The tasks that usually take the longest for an application are the essay, the transcript request, and the teacher recommendation. Plan to have these tasks completed one week before the application deadline means you are likely to submit a complete application. See the example on the screen. Here you will see a student has listed the program deadline. They have also written in when they will submit their essay, teacher recommendation, and transcript request. Remember that incomplete application will not be reviewed or considered by a program, so you will not be accepted to the program you are applying for unless you complete all, a par all parts of the application to on time. Another part of the application that takes a long time are the transcript requests and the teacher recommendation. The teacher recommendation takes a long time because your teacher often write a personalized page long letter on your behalf. There is a lot of work, and I know all about the transcript request process from college and scholarship applications. Transcript requests take some time because Mrs. McCain is assisting our 9th through 11th graders in their SGE application and planning process. Getting your paperwork together may take her a few days. As you complete tasks, make sure to cross them off in your agenda. Doing so will help you organize and ensure that you turn in a complete application. You know what? I want to see how a real Southwest student used her SGE agenda. Let's see how Tanaya used her SGE agenda to keep herself organized while applying to several SGEs and balancing her regular schoolwork. 
Hi, I'm Tanaya Jones, and the way that I prepped in order to put in my application for MS Square was I used a calendar and I wrote down all of my deadlines to put in all of my application things. And the way that I did it was I color coded to make sure that I was able to notice what I needed to do for MS Squared. Okay, I first started with my essays that I had to do, and during that I also told my mom to do her part, and I also got my TICA recommendations because I knew that it would probably take the longest since theirs were due before mine. Um, I also made sure that I had everything before I submitted it. All of that organization tonight did pay up. She was able to submit her application on time, and she was accepted to MS Square, which is a competitive STEM summer program. That means she got to live on camp on college campus and go to take classes, including math and science, as well as a college exploration. Well, that's all for today. We hope that after today's lesson, you have learned why using your SGE agenda is important and how to actually use it. Using agendas and calendars will be important steps in your life, no matter what post-secondary pathway you pursue. Being organized and backwards planning are important life skills. Now stay tuned for a few commercials about upcoming programs. See you next week.